Hi Cancers and welcome. My name is Inez and today I'm going to be doing your weekly reading for October 6th through the 12th. Now please keep in mind that these are general love readings so it cannot and will not resonate with all of you. So if it doesn't apply, then let it fly. If it does apply, then I would love to read your comments down below. Also, I'm still offering the free 15-minute phone reading. So if you're interested, you could email me at intimategoddesstarot at gmail.com. But you must subscribe first, okay, to get your free reading. Now, with that being said, let's get your reading started. I already shuffled your cards off camera for the sake of time, but I'll shuffle them one more time for you guys, okay? Please tell me about Cancer in Love from October 6th through the 12th, 2019. Please tell me about Cancer's in Love from October 12th to the 6th. Look, oh my God. The four of, uh, four of, four of ones flipped over and uh, eight of pentacles. So somebody must be working on a new relationship. Let's find out, put it in the work. Please tell me about Cancer's in Love from October 6th to the 12th, 2019. Please tell me about Cancer's in Love from October 6th to the 12th, 2019. Please tell me about Cancers in Love, please. Cancers in Love. Okay. Cancers, Cancers, Cancers. Please tell me about Cancers in Love from October 6th to the 12th, 2019. Please tell me about Cancers in Love from October 6th to the 12th, 2019. Please tell me about Cancer's in love from October 6th to the 12th, 2019. Please tell me about Cancer's in love from October 6th to the 12th, 2019. Please tell me about Cancer's in love from October 6th to the 12th, 2019. Please tell me about Cancer's in love. Hold on, Cancer's. Oh, shit. Please tell me about Cancer's in love from October 6th to the 12th, 2019. Please tell me about Cancer's in love from October 6th to the 12th, 2019. Please tell me about Cancer's in love from October. Oh, there we go. And at the bottom of the deck, look at that. Eight of Pentacles. Again, so somebody's wanting to put work in. Put in the work. Good, Cancer. So... This is how we're going to do this. We got the Five of Cups, so somebody's missing somebody or they have regrets here. We got the World, so there's a new beginning here. And you could be either dealing with Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, or Leo. One of the fixed signs. And then we have the Ten of Cups here. So you could either be dealing with a fixed sign. You don't have to be, but you could be. Okay? So this is telling me that you're missing someone here. Someone here is missing someone and you want to have a new beginning with this person. And you want to have your Ten of Cups with her. This is what this is telling me. There's probably regret here. And now that the person is gone, you probably have regrets because you probably didn't put in any work. Either you or them cancer didn't put, in any, didn't put any work into the connection. And now you do. Now you want to put in the work. Let's find out what the Five of Cups is all about. Please give me more information on this Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? Please give me more information on this Five of Cups. Please give me more information on the Five of Cups. Look at this. Five of Cups. Why is give me more information on the Five of Cups? Please give me more information. Nope, that one didn't come back. Please get more information on the... Okay. So we have the King of Swords upright. So again, you might be dealing with the air sign. We got the Queen of Swords in reverse. So somebody's mad. So we got a couple here. And we got the Page of Cups. So somebody is mad here. Somebody's pissed off. They ain't mad. They're pissed off. This Queen of Swords, she's pissed off. She's coming out in reverse, so she's pissed off. She's being a true bitch right about now. And this King of Swords, he's being, let's see, he's trying to he's trying to make the right decision. Because the King of Swords, he makes decisions, and he's trying to make the correct one. He's trying to be logical here. Because, yes, he does miss this person, but he's trying to make a decision if... 
he should make an offering to this Queen of Swords that's in reverse. Should he make an offering to this Queen of Swords? So he's basically in his head right now thinking, trying to make a decision because he does miss her. He does. He's missing this queen, even though she's acting like a bitch right about now. But still, he misses her. He's missing her, and he's trying to make uh, reach a decision. Or he could have made the decision already to make this offering to the Queen of Swords. To make this offering to you. This person could have already reached, because that's what the King of Swords does. He makes decisions. So he could have already made that decision to come towards you and offer you a page of cups. Now the page of cups is something small. It's not the knight of cups. The page of cups is more like, hey, how you doing? Uh, would you like to, you know, have coffee with me? Or probably we could go out to lunch. We could hang out, you know, get to know each other. You know, I like you and everything. And, you know, I would like to get to know you better. That's the page of cups right there. Okay? A small offering. It's like the starting from scratch all over from the beginning. Now, the world. Please give me more information on this world. World. Please give me more information on this world. Please give me more information on this world. Please give me more information on the world. Please give me more information on the world. World. Please. We got the high priestess you got the seven of cups in reverse so somebody is listening to their option i mean to the intuition they're no longer confused and look we got the five of wands in reverse so this person does want a new beginning with you and they're starting to listen to the intuition because at one point they were confused because in order for this cup to be in, in order for the seven of cups to be in reverse I had to be upright at one point and this person most likely was not listening to the intuition and they was just confused they was confused but now they're no longer confused and they're listening to their intuition and this person doesn't want to fight with you they don't want to argue with you they really don't they don't want to fight with this queen of swords because they know this queen of swords she is so ready to chop their head off they know this and you know what i wouldn't be surprised if this king of swords is kind of scared of this queen of swords that would not I will not I will not be scared because you know how you cancers can be when those emotions take over. Woo Lord. Ah! <laughs> That's where your cancers are, shoot. Shit, he this king of swords, he's probably scared. He's probably looking all tough and everything. Right here in the card. I bet you his ass is scared of this queen of swords. So you better be scared. Cause she don't play. So let her emotion, because her emotion, she's in reverse, so her emotions are taking over. And we are, this is a cancer sign, and we got the queen of swords in reverse. So she's being a true ass bitch. She's getting her emotions are all up in it. This king of swords, I bet his ass is scared. I said, I would be too. I would be too. And they know, and they don't want to fight with you, because they're thinking... If I step up, to, if I come to this Queen of Swords and I say the wrong thing, just one little word, just one word, just one stupid ass thing, one, just this woman is going to go off of me. She's going to go off of me. Just let me say one stupid thing. I need to, I need to, I need to write down what I'm going to say before I, before I go to this person. I need to write this down. I need to rehearse this. Because I ain't trying to get my head chopped off because she's already acting like a bitch. And she's in her emotions now. She's all up in her feelings. And I don't want to fight with her. I already know what I want. I want a new beginning with her. I'm listening to now to my intuition. I'm no longer confused. I miss her and I want to be with her. Even though she's up in her feelings right now and pissed off. But I still miss her and I still want to be with her. I may be a little scared. So I may want to show up there with my sword too. Being that she got her sword, I think it's best for me to show up with my sword just as well. Just to be on the safe side. Right, Cancer? Yeah, you better show up with your sword. 
And that's one of the reasons why we got the Eight of Pentacles here. Because now they want to put in the work. Now they want to come towards you and put the work in. Oh, now you want to come in, right? It took for me to curse you out for you to come back, right? I should not even curse you out. You just know I'm pissed off. Let's not even go there. Let's find out about the Ten of Cups. Please need more information on the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Please need more information on the Ten of Cups. Please need more information on the Ten of Cups. Please need more information. Ooh. Ooh, Lordy. Lordy. Cancer. This is our moon sign. Oh, well, not my moon. This is not our. This is your sun sign, but my sun sign. Okay? We got this? You ready for the next one that's coming out? Check this out. So, I'm clarifying the Ten of Cups, right? This You got that part, right? So, homie wants a new beginning with us. Yes. Homie wants a new stable beginning with us. Yes. I had lipstick on my teeth. And guess what? Bam. They're coming up as a nine of pentacles in reverse. This person doesn't want to be single. They don't want to be single anymore. Because if it was like that, this is them saying, I want to be single. But nope. They're coming up in reverse. They want that new stable beginning. They want the ten of cups. And they do not want to be single. They do not want to be single anymore. They want to be with you. And guess what? Bam, we got the two of pentacles in reverse. So they no longer sitting there trying to make a decision at all because they already know what they want. They're no longer confused. They're no longer confused. They know what they want. They finally decided to listen to their intuition. After all this time, they finally decided to listen to, it, to their intuition. And now they're realizing that you're the one that they want to be with. That they do not want to be single anymore. They want to have... A stable new beginning with you they want to have a solid foundation with you they want this with you and there's no need to continue thinking about this trying to do trying to uh, trying to make a head over heart decision there's no need to uh, continue doing this I miss this crazy woman yes she is yes she's crazy and she's all up in her feelings but you know what I miss her I miss her I miss her I miss this crazy woman. Yeah, she's all up in her feelings, but I miss her, baby. I miss you. I still miss you, baby. <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> please, baby. Don't fight. I don't want to fight with you, baby. No, please, I don't want to fight. I just want this new beginning with you, babe. I just want this ten of cups with you, babe. I don't want to be single anymore. I want to be in a relationship. I want to be in a committed relationship. I want to be with you because you're the one I want. I want a new beginning. I want a whole entire new world. <laughs> there's no more. There's no need for me to continue thinking anymore. I know what I want and what I want is you. Whatever I want, I got and I, and I want you. And you know what? I'm willing to put in the work this time. All the work that's required, the work, the effort, I'm willing to put it in this time. I will meet you halfway, whatever you want, baby. If you need for me to prove my love to you, I will prove my love to you. You could call me at any time of the day and I will show up in your house. Just call me up and tell me I'm having a nightmare at 3 o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday talking about you just had a nightmare. Don't worry about it. I'll be at your house. I'll be at your house within 5 to 10 minutes. Just call me. If you ever have a nightmare, whatever, if you're hungry and you need some ice cream and it's 4 o'clock in the morning on a Monday, call me. I will come buy it for you. Yeah, you better come. Hey, you better come. Okay? You better come. You better bring my ice cream. And it better be a chocolate fudge ice cream. Don't come over here with no vanilla ice cream or no Rocky Road. I want the chocolate fudge. Fudge ice cream. You got that? Yes, ma'am. Ah! <laughs> but anyways, this is us, cancer. This is us. So 
this person wants to come in they don't want to be single anymore they, they, there's nothing else for them to think about. They're finally starting to listen to their intuition. They're no longer confused. They don't want to fight with us. And they miss us. And you know what? They just don't miss us. They have regrets. There's regrets. There's regret here. Why? Because they what they were supposed to do the first time around, put the work in to put the work in, and they never did. So now they're regretting the fact that they didn't put the work into the relationship or commitment or situation or whatever you guys had. You, they didn't put in the work the first time, but now, hold on, cancer. But now they want to put in the work. Now they want to come in and put in the work. So what you going to do, cancer? Because I know what I'm going to do because this is my moon sign. So I know exactly what I want to do what I'm going to do. I want you to tell me what you're going to do. Because this person wants to be with you. They don't want to be single. They sure don't. And that's good, Cancer. That's really good. Shit, I'm happy. You, you better want to be with me. But let's get you a love of rights reading here. Cancers. Cancers. Give me a love advice reading for cancer, please. Love advice reading for cancer. What does this say? New beginnings, cancers. It says something new begins today. Embrace the possibility. Hell yeah, I'm going to embrace that possibility right there. You better trust and believe. I'm going to be embracing that. Look at that. Okay. We got new beginnings, okay? And Embrace the new beginning. Embrace it. Okay? So this is good cancer. And this is all I have for you. I will see you guys again next week. And also don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye cancer and enjoy your reunion.